A Finnish court has issued a first instance ruling against two managers from the state owned Patria defense contractor. The company's executive vice president and its representative for Croatia each received one year jail sentences and hefty fines for bribing then Croatian President Stepan Mesic and the director general of the Juro Jakovic machine company, Bartol Jerković, during the sale of armored personnel carriers to Croatia in 2007. The former president denied these allegations, saying that as commander in chief, he had no authority over the procurement of military equipment and that there was no reason for anyone to even involve him in such transactions, much less bribe him. Mesic is otherwise participating in a Croatian-Russian business forum in Moscow, which has gathered representatives from about 200 Russian and 100 Croatian companies. The Croatian delegation is being led by Economic Affairs Minister Ivan Verdoljak, together with the head of the Croatian Chamber of Commerce. Croatia has drawn some criticism, especially from the United States, for participating in such a forum as an EU member state when the West is increasing economic sanctions against Russia over the conflict in Ukraine. Verdoljak defended the move by saying that the forum has been planned for over a year and that European companies are continuing their activities in Russia in those areas that do not fall within the purview of sanctions. A new beltway was opened on the island of Far today. This is actually a reconstructed state road from the towns of Yelsa to Suchurai, which has been known as the road of death for decades. The works lasted for a year at a cost of about 80 million Croatian kuna. Outgoing President Ivo Josipović once more stated that he has no plans to create some kind of stir or shake-up in the Social Democratic Party. He said he will certainly not reactivate his status in the party anytime soon, adding that there are many indications leading him to believe that it would be better to engage in political activity by what he called other channels. Today is the last day of the carnival season, as tomorrow is Ash Wednesday, marking the beginning of Lent for the Catholic faithful. The last celebrations and processions are being held today in much of Croatia, including this traditional carnival concert at the music school in Varaždin. And in Zagreb, the first hopefully traditional carnival concert was organized in the Croatian National Theater. The opera's orchestra performed an array of music from throughout the world, and these numbers were interspersed with dance, vocal performances and other entertainment. In sports, in the first round of the ATP tennis tournament underway in Delray Beach, Florida, Croatia's Ivo Karlovic defeated Dustin Brown of Germany 6-3, 6-7, 6-2. Meanwhile in France, Croatian contender Borna Choric made it to the second round of the tournament in Marseille after defeating Uzbekistan's Denis Istomin 6-4, 7-5. In basketball action in the regional ABA league, Zagreb Stedevita was defeated in Belgrade by Crvena Zvezda 78-63. And finally, the weather forecast for the rest of the day. Skies will be mostly sunny this afternoon, especially on the Adriatic coast. Some clouds can mainly be expected at the higher elevations, with a slight chance of very light snowfall or sleet. Moderate to strong borer winds will hit the coast, with gale force gusts in the north, especially at the foot of the Velebit Massif. The sea will be moderately to largely choppy, and visibility will be good. This afternoon's temperatures will range from 2 to 7 degrees Celsius inland, and from 10 to 15 degrees on the coast. Skies will remain mainly clear and sunny inland until Friday. Morning fog will become more common by Thursday and it may even persist during the daytime. Temperatures will grow, but mornings will remain frigid, especially tomorrow. Considerable sunshine can also be expected on the coast. Moderate to strong borough winds will partially turn to northwesterly winds on Thursday and to a Scirocco by the end of Friday. Tomorrow will be colder on the coast than today, especially in the morning, but temperatures will gradually rise thereafter.